after two weeks of coughing too much, we're back guys. So today we're going to bring a specific topic as you already read it in the title and the family as well. We're going to be talking about Clans 2.0. Now before that I want to check out some new things. You see this guy? I think a bunch of you guys who are subscribed to me know this guy for sure. This guy has been uh, this guy has been criticized by me already based on uh, me thinking that he hasn't done enough and I don't think he's the right picture for the community. He's not the right He's not the right role model for the community, not the right helper for the community. Based mainly because uh, he's just joined the game for two years and have gained a lot of subscribers. And that's the main reason why the developers have chosen Echo Soldier to be one of their helpers into sharing feedback and uh, be a man to help improve the game. Speaking of that, his event has returned. And I kind of feel it's hypocritical because I watched it, one of his videos that he was proud about. He was kind of proud about having his weapons returning while he was talking so much about the ultimatum. Why it's not going to be returned because it's a battle pass. Well, this is a different thing for him. And I think what he thinks is that it is only available on the casino event. And it has always been available on a casino event. And therefore, he might be thinking it's okay to bring it back, which I clearly see. But it's a return, so not having the weapons that you have as a one-time exclusive event. In some extent, I can see the purpose as a YouTuber trying to promote some weapons. But in the same time, you just remove the exclusivity and people who've already gotten it feel scam. Nonetheless... We also got a superhero lottery which features the season 2 battle pass and what I think about it is outrageous and ridiculous. Why why are they returning battle, battle pass 2? Are they just not keeping the things by itself? You know, letting the one players who've already gotten it just uh, keep it and not actually have more players get it just because you just banned a good handful of players and uh, think it's gonna be a good idea to return all this stuff for them because this is what you're actually doing right now which is wonkers I can get I can get the cyber cup right now if I wanna and I'm on my way to get the cyber cup I get to get the rest of the lobby items I can get the city of the future so I can bring back my atmosphere in the lobby that can happen so that's another thing to share to you guys and also I'll be uploading another video later on today I was planning three videos. Maybe I'll up upload three videos if I do manage to do a quick video in the end of the day. But it all depends on it right now. So yeah, as you're watching this, I've already been doing some other stuff. And uh, having fun with my friends online or maybe in real life. Now, let's get to the real banquet. The Clans 2.0. Let's discuss what it offers us. So, a new UI, a new system... <coughs> kind of new purpose M a lot of the aspects that have been uh, gone over into this new version of the clans have remained the same for example you're still pushing an object to reach to a certain point you reach a gate and you destroy the gate and then after you destroy the gate you capture the point and we'll get and uh, that's what you do in the clan war because occasionally you have a clan raid that happens in my time zone 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. day after day so it's like once in every time it's gonna be like 6 no 7 p.m. when the clan raid starts and then uh, another time it will be starting at 1 a.m. my time CET the problem is the main problem is and I'll get back to it but first I gotta talk about everything so currently I find the challenges to be pretty controversial Mainly because, for one, me as the leader don't contribute points to two things, and that is these escort challenges. Even though I'm standing right beside the ram and I destroy the gate, I don't get any points. And in the monster siege, which is happening right now here and then, I win. I try to help people, players, my other members win the siege, and I don't really contribute points because there's a bug inside inside the leader that makes them that makes this specific leader aka me to where I cannot contribute points to 
neither Master Siege nor the Escort. Rest of the challenges is quite heavy because well some of them are not are not as heavy for my part, but it might be as heavy for other players because they need to bring specific weapons. Well, you already guess what kind of weapon you have to bring right here to do the challenge. And I have the weapon that I need to finish that challenge. But if we try to look at other challenges, eliminate 130 opponents with sniper. Eliminate 115 opponents with sniper. So you're here just gonna spend like uh, 60 minutes on to try to win the challenges. Get it done. Get it done. But you have to spend 60 minutes. And now it actually depends on how many kills you get. At this case, it's just to kill people with a sniper. So it depends how many kills you get per round. If you get like 20 per round, that's 60 minutes about, well actually 20 minutes of gameplay onto getting one single rock. And we also have captured 70 points, 63 opponents again. They set very high amounts and also hard raid. What is up with hard raid? Apparently the developers have decided to bring us players, step up the game a little bit and unite as one to make us win a hard raid. Which is ridiculous. You know in the hard raid lobbies, people hardly even play that because you don't get a module chest. And that's another problem. Let's get to it actually. You don't get module chests anymore because now you only get modules for buying the for buying these chests that you get from doing clan tasks to get silver and in the end right here where you get the medium war chest and <coughs> and so on and if you win you get this chest as well that gives you even more module parts and you have to be a member because the leader is the one that gives the most worthy member the chest that gives him a little bit extra boost so the leader is not getting himself a little bit extra boost but the, but the clan member does the most loyal member gets the stuff which is pretty controversial because if you run a clan you have to you have to pay a bit of gems to make it look fancy but if you don't care about that and only care about the aspects of tourists then congratulations you actually think well about your own economy as a casual player because if you decided to just fancy decorate your lobby as I did right here you would be wasting a lot of uh, gems except for those clans who already have been generated before the class 2.0 was implemented because everyone who had a clan and had parts for decorations decorations for the clan base was getting it for free and of course the rest had to be bought with gems it is pretty intriguing to have even more defense systems and also what makes me wonder if it was a good thing or not is the battery capacity right here whenever you place one of these guys like from every single category whenever you place these guys you actually have to you actually have to when you place another one you'll you spend double amount of the energy that was on the previous level and then from that again if you want to place the third turret so you're spending a lot of energy and uh, there might be a level limit to the fourth and you might not you might not be just putting every single laser turret into one of these fields. I don't think that would ever happen. You won't be able to place every single turret as a cryo automizer so it can slow the game down just a little bit. Get what I mean? You, you, the game wants you to place different things, not just the same thing all over the entire map. Yeah, you, you're meant to place different things throughout the entire map so that your fort can have something for the players to deal with. And also supports it well. Now, the most expensive thing I've seen is the teleporters, surprisingly. If I place one, it's not gonna do another one. I have to place, I have to spend. 225 energy for using a teleporter, which is ridiculous. But since we have some turrets placed here and there, I might consider using teleporters one day. Well, that depends on how high, how much energy boost I get within this level that I'm going to get right now for doing constant clan wars. And let's talk about the clan wars. It starts on a Tuesday, which is creating even more controversy due to the fact that a lot of people are in the school so they don't have time to just uh, start the war, start collecting some fields immediately after when the clan war starts. And a bunch of players, we live in different time zones. 
And for me, it starts early. For some others, it starts pretty late. And for some who live some places in the world, it may start in, in the afternoon where they actually are spending their time of playing Pixel Gun 3D and do the clan raid. Now, the, the clan war. It would be a great opportunity for them. But for us, it's not particularly that beneficial. <coughs> but it has its consequences. And it starts on a Tuesday, so a bunch of people are going to school. And I'm saying it again. Because when you go to school, you don't have time for some clan raids. You can't occupy yourself with clan raids because you gotta try to focus on life a little bit and not only on one specific kind of game because the developers have put full force into it. Into one aspect of the game to try to encourage more players to play the game. And that's exactly what I think the developers want us to do to encourage us to play the game. Of course, I do like the game, but there's some critical aspects that I want to talk about that are crucial to see to 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 see if it's going to be making any higher development or descending development for the game. And as long as I can see it, I think a lot of people are irritated by how it works that it starts on a Tuesday, so that they only have time in the afternoons or maybe in the nights if they spend a lot of time with homework. To where that they themselves look in the clan and see a scramble like this. Uh, it may not motivate everyone to just play the clan war when they see this kind of scramble. And the challenges that they put are terrible today. I don't think these I don't think the developers have known the fact that a lot a lot of players don't really consider playing the game that much. An average player may play for like one half to one to two hours and that's it that's all they do and how much progress would they make that's pretty unsure it based it's based on how well they plan their days out if they plan it well well good luck for them but if they just want to play casually they won't make a difference and some people are not in a clan and uh, there's a lot of clans being made so a bunch of clans have little to none have little to none activity or maybe just the clan leader doing all the job. Now, when I created this clan, it was a very long time ago. But when we went over to Clan 2.0, I, I pretty much was the one who did all the job by myself. Despite having a bunch of people go joining my clan and going to have fun. And wanted to have fun and contribute for the clan. Now, I want people to join the clan so that they can do some effort for themselves. Not only for them, they're good. But for the clan's good so that we can also win even more parts. So that you yourself can get some parts as well. That's why I want people to be active. And not just stop up at 1000. Keep going. Because that's, because if I still see you stopping at 1000. I might be speculating if you're only here. To just get 1000 and say that's it. That's it for today. That's it for the week. And I'm not going to do anymore. Then I will still kick you. Because you're only doing this much effort. You're not trying to do the little extra. But that, that might not be always the, be the case because minimum requirement for this clan is 1000 and that's what I've said. And some top clans like for example Killer King, Final Ultimatum, kicks people per hour so that it favors only the, the real owners of the clan not the members of the clan. Which makes me think well if this is what's going to happen to develop their own business then it might as well just close the applications for searching a clan and uh, get into a game because because if you're just gonna do this guys if you're just gonna create a clan hire some members and then after one hour or i bumped sorry and then after an hour you kick people out of the clan you show yourself pretty wonky and you're only doing this just because you want higher valor for yourself until the whole entire field had been taken, and we managed to take the whole entire field once. And that was pretty fun, and I got some members, but when we came back with the next battle, one one clan was doing the exact same thing during the first two days. And this is where I don't really see it was a good it was particularly that well timed to start fully driving fully making the clan competitive. Not a lot of players not that many players are going to play the game 
not that many players are going to do that specific kind of task that you wanted them to do. Maybe they're just right there to casually do the game while they're part of the clan, which uh, creates uh, a situation where I am left with only four players in the clan because the rest of the players are not doing anything. And as the excuse of beta, hmm, I don't think it's a good excuse of beta at all, in my opinion. So that's all, that's almost everything I'm going to be talking about in the clan. If you guys want to join my clan, my clan ID is shown right there. And I'll be also providing that in the comment section down below. <coughs> and I, as you can hear, I'm still coughing a little bit. I'm not, I'm not fully fresh. I'm not fully, I'm not, uh, I'm not fully well yet. But I'm pretty well enough to try to do some video and actually try to talk with you guys and have fun in the chat. Now, in conclusion, through all the mumbling I've been saying, I've been talking out to you, the clans was a good idea in certain extent, but then you start the clan war on a Tuesday where a bunch of players are playing at school. If you're starting on the weekend, it's a short time. It's a relatively short time. But you reduce it by two days, so it's a really short time. If you start on like Friday afternoon, was it really going to be that short time? Because you still have three days to deal with the clan war. Of course, you won't be having fantastic records. But is that really the main point? Isn't the main point to have a good welfare for all the players that are actually wanting to contribute to the clans? All those players that are spending maybe an entire day because it's not many players, maybe in a handful, that spends an entire day trying to take the rocks. That's what I did uh, on the season where we conquered everything in the, in the map right here. I was taking all the rocks because I wanted to get the stuff. We were in the Silver League. I wanted to get the stuff, the rocks, everything. To get the silver, open up the chest to where I end up, where I am right now. Hold on, let me show you guys. Where I can craft some Silver League weapons. So I will be bringing some weapon reviews as well. I've already gotten 2 out of 6 gold weapons too. So be sure to stay tuned for even more review videos. They will be coming back. I will be getting back on business right now. Because I've been sick for too long. And I decided, well I'm pretty well right now. So why not do a video for you guys. And as you're watching I might be doing some other stuff. To have fun and enjoy life. I think that's going to be it for today's video. What do you think about the clan? Was it a really good idea? Or was it some things that you guys just thought, meh. It wasn't really right to just put put that aspect into the clan because not a lot of people would do that because of uh, family events that will, put, that will be put out as a, an excuse once they get back one day and you haven't kicked them for like a month. You, they came back one day after you, after you haven't kicked them for a month, and they just excuse you for having too much family events. Now this is where I kick weekly and not per hour. So if you don't do one thousand during this weekend, you'll be kicked within Monday in the clans. That's all. That's all. And other than that. I think I gotta wrap it up. Now, I didn't bring all the aspects because I would be too tired of talking. I would have happily been doing this, but I wanted to have a steady video. Instead of actually instead of actually having a monotone, well, it usually is a monotone communication when you do it making a video to other players, you know, other viewers that you are showing in the game. And I'm planning something special. Not just not just the casino, no, not just the shopping mass series. I'll be doing some other pixel gun videos as well. Just stay tuned for that, because it will come by, and we will, and that way, we will have more fun with my channel. Just stay tuned, guys. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in another video. I try to stay as critical as I can when I do these type of vi monologue videos, where I'll be discussing one specific type of topic, whether whether it's good or not, based on looking at its pros and cons. So I hope you guys have a great day forward, and I'll catch you guys in another video that will be coming by soon today. Bye-bye.